Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today. For this week's video, we're gonna compare the stock cabinets on the Helix versus an aftermarket impulse response. And we're gonna see if shelling out a few extra bucks for an IR um, actually makes a difference in your tone. Now, when it comes to impulse responses, I am a little bit out of my league. I just usually mic up my tube amp and call it good. Uh, so I shot off Pete Thorne an email. He has been using IRs and stuff for a long time. If you don't follow his channel, uh, definitely do because there's a ton of awesome uh, gear wisdom there. So check out Pete Thorne's channel. Um, but yeah, anyway, he recommended just going with the Celestian 412 greenbacks, which if you follow Pete, that's not a surprise. <laughs> He's definitely a greenback fan. Uh, so that's what I did. I bought a Celestian pack of uh, yeah 412 greenbacks and we're going to compare the same cab on Helix versus that IR. All right, let's quickly talk about today's signal chain. We've got the DB caster, which we built together on the channel. Uh, if you missed that build, I shall put a link to that above, but really cool guitar. And we're going from here into the Helix. And from the Helix, we're actually taking the digital outputs. So we're not gonna use the digital to analog converters, go into a sound card and then convert it again. We're just gonna go from the guitar into the Helix, uh, digital outputs into the UH-7000, uh, which in my opinion is probably one of the best small studio uh, interfaces, super clean. So we're gonna keep it all digital um, until you guys listen to it. So it should be a very clean signal path. All right, I think by now you guys know I'm gonna make you do a blind test. I'm not gonna label which cab is which. I'm just gonna click it in and out on the Helix. All the other settings and sounds will remain exactly the same. And other than that, put on a good set of headphones or listen through some studio monitors. If you just listen through your phone or tablet, um, you're probably not gonna hear a difference. So definitely put that on and let's get started. Let's check out the results. So cab number one was the impulse response and cab number two was the stock Helix cab. All right, let's check out the results for test number two. The first cab was the impulse response again, and the second cab was the stock Helix. As you guys know, the first test was a single virtual SM57 on each of the virtual cabs. Um, for test number two here, we're gonna use the file from Celestion that includes all the room mics. So there's two different um, close mics plus room mics, which should in theory give us a more complex and spacious sound. And then on the Helix, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, dual cabs. So there's an option to use two different cabinets and one's gonna have a 57 uh, moved about three inches off the cone. And the second one is gonna be a ribbon mic about five inches off the cone. So it should be a little bit interesting to see what kind of complexities um, each of the cabs offer. And the other thing we're gonna do on the Helix is add about 60% early reflections. This is super important when you're using stock cabs. So if you guys are struggling to find good sounds on you know, whatever the, the Line 6 stock ones are, uh, crank up the early reflections. That's gonna give you guys a more complex sound. So it'll be interesting comparing uh, um, you know, yeah, the IR versus dual cabs with early reflections. Let's check that one out. Let's check out the results. So cab number one was the stock Helix and cab number two was the IR.
finally, let's check out the last results. Uh, cab number one was the Helix again, and cab number two was the Celestian IR. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you have a Helix or you're considering picking one up, hopefully you found it helpful as well. I should quickly mention uh, props to Line 6 for making it super easy to load IRs. So if you don't like the stock cabs, um, it's super easy just to you know throw in an IR and check that one out. Um, and as someone who never uses them, I found it uh, easy enough to figure out. So let me know in the comments below which cabs you guys thought sounded best, the stock Helix or the Impulse Response. Um, impulse responses typically are fairly inexpensive, you know, maybe from 10 to 30 bucks, depending on what you're buying. So it's not a huge investment. Um, yeah, but that being said, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. The rest of my information will be on the screen right now. Feel free to check that out. Other than that, have a great weekend, you guys. We'll see you Monday with a new video. Take care.